Okay, so I'm just going to talk a bit about the process behind this piece. Um, it was inspired by the song Castle by Halsey, and I wasn't even listening to the song when the idea came to me. I was just thinking about the song, but I was thinking about that sort of combination that she has in the song of very industrial sounds coupled with sort of angelic choirs. It's a very distinctive tone, and so I wanted to sort of visually mimic that in an illustration. And so um, I did shoot reference for this piece. I, I set up a desk lamp and I climbed onto a chair. I was propping myself on a chair and that's where the pose comes from. I got some really dramatic angular lighting and you know, I, I had a very distinct idea from the very beginning where I wanted this piece to go. So, um, I, once I sat down the open composition, which is basically the, um, small square composition within a larger white composition and the figure breaking the edges, that's called an open comp composition. That was sort of a part of the concept from the very beginning, was just this figure climbing out of this sort of industrial prison. And um, so now I'm laying in the face and sort of adding color. I, I laid down my base color with just a gradient and gradient map, which is something that I do a lot just to quickly add color, but on top of that, you can use blending modes with brushes to very quickly build up um, additional tones while maintaining that unified color provided by the gradient map. Um, I altered the reference a bit, which is why you can see me sort of struggling with the face and the hair throughout this video. Um, I, I started with, I personally have dark hair. And so going from a reference using dark hair was a bit of a challenge to try and adapt it to light hair because obviously the, the value patterns are going to be very different between dark and light. And so I ended up having to pull up some different references online of lighter hair just to understand how that value pattern was going to work out. And then the wings were kind of a, an experiment from a coloration standpoint and kind of a happy accident. I I actually can't remember the last time I painted wings, so the fact that they turned out so well on my first try, I was really excited about them and I kind of just left them in that very raw state. I didn't want to overwork them and ruin sort of that um, very energetic and uh, unworked look to them, so I just kind of left them the way that they were. I actually considered changing the color of her hair at some point because I feel like I always make my angels blonde, um, but my mom was a big proponent for the blonde, so I kept it. And then the industrial background was a bit of a challenge because I don't usually like to paint things that are super industrial. I don't like having to use a lot of rulers and perspective guidelines. Gears are kind of um, annoying because of the, the circles and, you know, I was kind of pressed for time trying to finish this painting up in a single session without having to branch into yet another session. So um, I'm actually really pleased that the gears came out looking as precise as they were because I, I had those initial circle guides and from there I was just kind of eyeballing the shapes and trying to keep them looking round. Um, and then these finishing touches basically just um, throwing on some gradients, another gradient map, some color adjustments, um, trying to unify the piece with sort of the uh, almost gessoed looking background. So adding in some, some bits of color where it looks like I've gessoed over a background that was already existing. 
Um, basically just trying to make it look like a more traditional media piece. And uh, yeah, that's, that's basically this piece in a nutshell.